Hi. In this video, we'll be looking at how to insert an equation or an expression using our Google Docs equation writer. In our school career, we're definitely going to have some point in time where we either have to write a math paper or we have to hand in some homework and we may have to type it up. And this is a super useful skill to have to get your work looking neat and in order. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is look at how to insert an equation if you've never done it before in your document. So right now, you may see that your document does not have this little tab. In order to get that tab for the first time, you have to go to Insert, Equation, and this tab will pop up. Once the tab has popped up, you'll also see your cursor key down here and you can put an equation there. So let's actually get this in the right spot. So I'm going to go to insert equation. And as you see, it popped up again, and I can put any equation I like. And notice the font actually looks like an equation, like when you see one of those worksheets online. That's what the font looks like. All right, we're not going to solve that equation. We're going to keep working on learning how to write in math notation. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is our superscripts, and you may or may not have heard the word superscripts before, but most likely you've probably heard the word exponent or power. All right, so let's say you want to put an exponent or a power on a variable, so like that the teeny tiny little number on the top right. What you want to do is now that you have your equation writer tab, you just have to click new equation, and then you can go ahead and let's say we're doing x to the fifth. In order to get your exponent, you have to press on your keyboard the little carrot, which is shift six, and it goes up into the exponent area. So now we can write our exponent. And if we stay up there, we're going to be continuing with our exponent. We might not want to do that. In order to get out of the exponent, you have to click the right arrow button and it will take you out of the exponent. So we can go ahead and do a bunch of other exponents if we like, shift six, and we can get other exponents up there. So our exponent can be more complicated than just one number. We can actually have a whole bunch of stuff up here. All right. Now, a subscript is kind of like a superscript, but it's the little number that goes at the bottom right. So maybe if you've done logarithms, you've seen a subscript, or maybe something like the distance formula or the midpoint formula, you've seen a subscript. Um, so let's go ahead and see what, how to write these subscripts. Again, we always start with new equation. And here we have, let's say, x. And I'm going to put a little 2 next to it. We don't want our 2 to look like that, so in order to get a little 2, we press shift dash, which is our underscore, shift dash, which is our underscore, and now we have a little subscript. I can stay down there, but I don't want to. In order to get out of the subscript, we have to press the right arrow on the keyboard. So I just press the right arrow on the keyboard, and I'm out of the subscript. And you can do more, of course. So I'm going to do that again. I just press subscript, which is shift underscore or shift dash, which is our underscore. And now we have a subscript. In order to get out of the subscript, I press right. In order to get out of the equation in all, which I did not say before, you press, press the right arrow again. And now we're out of the equation. All right, let's look at how to write a fraction using our equation writer. All right, in order to write a fraction, of course, we start with new equation, as we have been doing. And in one of these subtabs here, you will find a fraction. So I believe it's this one. And you click on that. And let's say we want to write 4 fifths. You would write 4. You'd press the right arrow to jump down. And then 5. And then you'd press the right arrow to get out of the fraction. And once you're out of the fraction, we can do anything that we need to do that we would usually do in an equation. So I'm pressing the left arrow button now and see I'm going through the fraction and we could actually write the equation of a line, y equals 4 fifth x plus 2. All right, now let's play around some more. 
Um, the only way to really and truly learn how to do this, um, use this equation writer and use it beyond what I've shown you today, is to just play around with it as I have in the past. So let's say we want to write the distance formula. The distance formula is a lot of fun to write. We press new equation and then we have d equals, and if you don't know the distance formula, that's okay, just follow along with me. Um, we have the square root sign is under here, so go ahead and press that. And once we've done that, we are going to use all the same skills that we've been working on, but we're going to put them all together. So parenthesis x subscript, so shift dash 2 minus x shift uh, 1, shift dash 1, close the parenthesis. Now I'm writing, I'm pressing shift 6 to get my exponent squared, pressed right to go out of the exponent, plus y underscore 2, right to go out of the subscript, superscript, subscript, <laughs> minus, oh, let's put that back, I accidentally deleted it, minus y subscript 1, get out, close, and raise to the second power. And so we just used all our skills together and wrote the distance formula. Let's do a couple more things just to get a hang of finding things in here. Now always start by pressing new equation and let's preview what we have to work with. There is a lot of noise going on out there, just ignore. All right, so we have some symbols here, we have some Greek letters here, we have some less than, greater than, and some set theory stuff here. And we have, oh, we have something useful for geometry. Let's talk about this guy right here. Um, if I want to write about a segment, I can click that. It was that one right there. And now I can have A, B, oops, underneath. Uh, I just press the right arrow to get underneath. And now I'm out. And that's how you write segment A, B. How about something with angles? All right, if we want to deal with something with angles, Let's say I want to say sine 45 equals. So I would write sine, just regular S-I-N, and 45, regular. But how do you write the degree sign? Well, there may or may not be a degree sign in here, but we don't need anything so fancy. We can just say shift, and we have an O or a zero, I actually prefer the O, and then we can say whatever sine 45 is. All right, let's say we want to actually have a sine of an angle. Uh, let's new equation, sine of, oh, we have a lot of sounds going on. We use the angle, we use this Greek letter theta to represent an angle. So let's say we have that. All right, so, when you, the only way to really learn this is to play around with it. So I encourage you as you work with this, just, you know, see what you can find in here, play around with it and have some fun.